What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Premiere Pro tutorial. My name is of course Lincoln Riddle. I appreciate you watching. No on camera appearance today. We're trying to get this one done fast so hopefully we can make this video as quick as possible. Now today we have someone who has asked us to do a video on tracking. He wants us to basically put something on a wall and then as the camera zooms in that text or whatever it is basically just stays there and moves as the camera passes it it, it stays in one place uh, that is called tracking and I will link his uh, YouTube handle down below and I'll put a comment so if you're interested in checking him out feel free to do so um, so this is much easier in After Effects than it is in Premiere it's just really time consuming in Premiere it's, it's not fun to do by any means but uh, I'll show you here kind of what we're looking at I just did this quickly um, so this is kind of the effect that you're going for. You see how the text just kind of moves, but it stays in. It's kind of rough here. It does drift off, but for the most part, it, it kind of stays in one place and it gets bigger with it. And then you can see it starts to pull off screen. This is a very rough cut that I did here. Um, so let's just delete all of this, but these first two keyframes. So what you're going to want to do is once you get into Premiere, go straight up. Once you've got everything loaded up, go straight up to the effect control panels. Uh, I've just thrown some text with some basic 3D over here onto the wall. And I've chosen a point. Now what you're going to want to do is, is you're going to want to choose a place somewhere on your wall or wherever you're putting the text, whether it be in the road or you know, on the sidewalk, or in this case, Bart Simpson. You want to choose a place where you can really constantly identify that same spot. So for me, we're going to choose this period as the corner of Bart's hand. All right, so what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna let it run a little bit, and as you can see, it's already started to pull away. We're gonna do nothing but keyframe this. Yes, it's as terrible as it literally sounds. So, uh, pardon me if I mess these two up up here. For some reason, I always get them confused. All right, so we're gonna drag this backwards, and then you're gonna obviously have to drop it down back into where it was. So as you can see, we're in the same spot and we're going to want it to it does move down a little bit doesn't it yeah it does that's annoying okay <laughs> so we'll pull it up a little bit maybe up and over a little bit up a little bit over all right that's a little bit better all right that's much better so we're going to go with that and we're just going to sit here and keyframe 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 I mean, this is the effect we're going for. It's not perfect, like I said, but as you can see, we're zooming on the screen and the text basically stays in the same part. This is called tracking, and this is how you would do it in Premiere Pro. Now, the size should change, and it should get bigger, obviously. So what you would do there, obviously, you would just sit here and scale this bad boy up. So I'm going to go each of these. We're going to make it, like, maybe too big. Go over here. Oh, pro tip for you. Hold down shift, click up here on the time bar, and it'll go right to the next keyframe. And then we're gonna, oh, you know what? I just screwed this all sorts of, I just I just screwed this all sorts of up. All right, this is 145 is, is what we were going for there. So that's 145. <laughs> uh, 147 we'll, we'll go with next there. Well, that's fine. All right, so that's it in a nutshell, guys. I'm not going to sit here and correct this over and over and over again until it's perfect. I'm sorry for that. I just don't have the time to do that today. But as you can see, this is tracking. This is how you would do it. So if you're wanting to throw something on the side of a wall, you want to throw it on the middle of a concrete road. You want to throw it on a sidewalk. You want to throw it in your bedroom, on a car, whatever. You would sit here in Premiere and just keyframe out positions and scales, whatever it is that you're trying to throw on there, a logo, a CD, I don't know. You know, you would just sit here and keyframe, 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 and that's how it would look uh, as you move past it. Obviously, with the text, you'll want to make the text a little bit more substantial. This isn't very far from where this photo was actually taken. This is only like two feet, so the uh, height improvement's not really going to be that important, or scale improvement, rather. 
that's it. That is literally all there is to tracking. So you'll just sit here and over and over again, hit those keyframes, make sure you get them much better than I did here today. And uh, if you make something using this tutorial, let me see it. I'd love to see it. It'd be awesome to uh, see what you have done. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I apologize for the, this being a quick one and me not sitting here getting really fancy with this and making it look perfect. But I just don't have the time today, so I apologize for that. I will see you guys in the next one. If you have any requests, drop them down below. Don't forget to check out the guy who requested this video. Thanks, guys. Until next time.